I can do picture-in-picture. Uh, picture. I can open the front camera. Now I've got the front camera here. Hey, there's me. We're gonna make it so you can move it around. Yeah. And then we're gonna add a video mode. So now I could be doing stuff, you know, and, and uh, marking things up, recording that. Maybe I turn the light on, maybe that'd be easier. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh wow. So there, there's potentially some interesting things because I can zoom way in. Could you use like this projector then for like live streaming? So if I'm live streaming something and were to maybe use that for an educational purpose? Is like, there, I think you could just set it up to, can you live stream a screen. desktop? Yeah. Okay, then yeah. Okay, so this is the new uh, Sprout Gen 2 uh, from HP. It's a Sprout Pro that has a dual screen PC. Vertical screen is a full 1080 monitor. The new projected screen is full 1080 as well. It also has an active stylus that records uh, 2048 levels of pressure with a full 20 point multi-touch screen. This is our new uh, work tool that we call Stage. It allows uh, staging of content. It's the perfect PC for uh, digital creatives, professional creatives, anybody working with physical digital content. It's a great for educators, teachers, students. And I'll just show, showcase some of the uh, really cool features. So let's say I have this starfish and I want to add um, maybe to a PowerPoint. I can just click this camera icon. Now it goes into the 2D Capture app, which we call Capture. I can turn the, uh, the light on. Maybe I correct it and I'm gonna hit Capture. It gives me a two second countdown. Captures the starfish, reprojects it one to one and then automatically brings it into my staging app. So now I can manipulate it here. One of the new features we have is in the edit, I can do a background removal. So now I've removed all the background content. And you can see it's as if I've just digitized the starfish right into my scene. But actually, Sprout does a lot more than just 2D content. We can actually 3D scan objects with the uh, application that we call Camera 3D. And it's as simple as, again, launching another app we call Camera 3D. The first stage of scanning is like video recording. Nothing complicated, I don't have to have any complicated pictures, I don't have to do any calibration. I just turn, turn on the desk lamp here so I can see the object. It gives me a green circle telling me it's ready to scan. I hit start and it automatically starts scanning. And as I rotate this object, it's able to see all the surfaces. Notice how it's, it's automatically removing my fingers as it's scanning, so my fingers are not getting scanned. And then the user just has to rotate it so all the surfaces are visible and have been cleanly scanned. And you can just kind of rotate it like this to scan even more surface. And then once you're satisfied that you've gotten all the surfaces, you can move to the 2D capture phase. So it's still tracking it, but notice it's in black and white. So if I take a capture now, that surface turned to color, then I can rotate it over, take a picture of the backside, and you can look here, these are the actual 2D captures using the 14 megapixel camera. And I could usually take 10 to 15, in this case I'm just gonna finish it there. The, two, the 3D is already scanned, and I think I have one already completed here that I'll bring up. So these are previous scans, but you can kind of see all the quality, the quality that we're getting here. This was, well there's the, the finished uh, starfish. So you can see where I had that one picture of the top face and the picture of the bottom face. Extremely high resolution. This content is perfect for AR, VR, background content. You can scan things like uh, burl, branches, driftwood, rocks, all that stuff is perfect. So this is uh, HP 2D, 3D Capture. You can buy it um, on our website, sprout.com, for about $3,700. It's commercially available with discounts for education. I can do picture-in-picture. Uh, picture. I can open the front camera. Now I've got the front camera here. Hey, there's me. We're gonna make it so you can move it around. Yeah. And then we're gonna add a video mode. So now I could be doing stuff, 
you know, and Anna marking things up, recording that. Maybe I turn the light on, maybe that'd be easier. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. So there, there's potentially some interesting things because I can zoom way in. Could you use, like, this projector then for, like, live streaming? So if I'm live streaming something and were to maybe use that for an educational purpose? Is like, there, I think you could just set it up to, can you live stream your a screen. desktop? Yeah. Okay, then yeah. 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 In fact, we, one of the key use cases is uh, for remote collaboration, yeah. whether it's Skype, Hangouts, anything. So you could just share this screen, and yeah. we've actually made an application that makes that super easy to do, yeah. um, and a plug-in for Skype. Well, maybe we'll have plugins for others, but yeah. to be able to share this screen, you wouldn't share that because um, yeah, you, the you video have your own. Have its own. Yeah. yeah. So I just turned that one off, but. Sharing this and, and, and being able to annotate, mark up, and zoom are kind of the key elements. Right. And the, the neat thing here is we have this, it's like AR, where I'm actually creating this rectangle. Is where you're actually focusing on on the screen? Yeah, so it, it tells me, yeah, where, the, uh, let's see, let me just restart that. So sometimes when you're zoomed in on something, your focus is down on that screen that you're drawing into. Mm -hmm. So we give a visual aid to know where you're focused or where you're zoomed in. So if I zoom in, so now I, I know I'm zoomed in this area and I can mark things up and go to this little color tool. I know that I'm sharing that section. Or I could use it so I, I know that that's the highlighted area. I can delete this content. Maybe bring something else under there. This is 3D content. Then I can zoom in on that detail. Interesting. So it's really blurring the lines between you know, real and digital content, seamlessly going back and forth between the two. It used to be that you're either in a digital world or you have physical content and you stay within that world, so it'd be like limited to sketching, maybe clay creation. And then it got to the point where you could digitize it, but either be a video, a picture, or maybe go to a flatbed scanner, scan a document in, email it to yourself. But it's very difficult. We call that the digital divide. So Sprout is attempting to uh, consolidate all those into a shared space where you can work digitally and then bring physical content and seamlessly get that content into the, whether it's a touch mat or mat, the vertical screen or the application itself. And so just kind of greasing the skids between all these seams and making it fluid. Awesome.